Um, thank you, convener, and um, thank you, members, for attending slightly early, th early this morning um, to hear a statement, I suppose, on, on what I think is a very important issue. Um, the 25th of November is the United Nations International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. It also sets off the 16 days of activism, which ends on the 10th of December, which is also Human Rights Day. Each year has a theme, and this year's theme in Scotland is Imagine a Scotland Without Gender-Based Violence. As this week's meeting of council falls within the 16 days of action against gender-based violence, I wanted to take the opportunity to highlight the campaign, some of our local context, and to encourage everyone to consider what they can do to help eradicate violence against women and girls. Like other authorities in Scotland, here in Clipmanager, we mark the 16 days with local activity to raise awareness and demonstrate our shared commitment to prevent and eradicate gender-based violence. On Monday, I joined partners from across Forth Valley to launch a programme of events. We've also launched our own YouTube video this week, highlighting the resources available for staff and others to help them recognise and address gender-based violence. I would encourage all members to access the programme and consider how they can become involved during the 16 days and to think about what they can do to work towards a society without violence against women and girls. We all have a part to play and no one or individual or organisation can achieve this alone. And I would urge you all again to think about the part that you can play. I would also ask elected members to consider to signing up to the White Ribbon Scotland campaign, pledging never to commit, condone or remain silent about violence against women in all its forms. The negative statistics for Clipmanager in relation to domestic violence are often quoted. You will hear that we have one of the highest rates of domestic violence in Scotland. That cannot be acceptable, and it is certainly not inevitable. Violence against women is disproportionately affecting those who live in poverty, and this means that we have to work even harder to ensure that women are equally safe at home, at work, and in their community. However, we also have some good news. We have excellent work underway and progress to report. The most recent Police Scotland report to the Audit and Scrutiny Committee highlighted progress in a number of areas. And these are the number of domestic abuse incidents reported to police in Clipmanager are down by almost 15%. The total crimes and offences in domestic abuse incidents are down by over 20%. The prevention and intervention programmes with our young people in schools is also showing a very positive impact. Our most recent Icelandic prevention model data demonstrates that young people in our local schools know who to contact if they want to report any form of abuse and they are accessing this support. In both areas, our improvement is higher in Clip Manager than the rest of Scotland. We run a mentors and violence programme in all of our secondaries, which supports our young people to challenge attitudes and behaviours towards violence against women and girls. Our school-based police officers play a key role and in addition, there are lunchtime drop-in sessions with women's aid and wellbeing support and resources. And all of these are contributing to early intervention and prevention work with our young people. We also have pioneering projects underway through Strive. And this ensures that um, specialist report support can be accessed. And this is jointly funded with Police Scotland to provide a dedicated women's worker in a non-court mandated predator predator programme which supports men who are willing to change their behaviour and last year we launched this programme with mentors. I am proud to be a member of a proactive violence against women and girls partnership in Clip Manager, and this brings together the strength and commitment of our third sector partners along with our alcohol and drugs partnership, our housing services, education, social work, criminal justice, the police and others. I am clear that the data and evidence, and in particular, the voice of lived experience, will be key to the evaluation of a recently approved violence against women and girls strategy. Here in Clip Manager, we have a whole systems approach, which is the only solution to, challenge, to a challenge which affects every aspect of society and the services that we provide. As I said, there is much progress, but much more to be done if we are to achieve <coughs> our shared goal of eradicating violence against women and girls. But this year's 16 Days of Action is not only about our local context, we also recognise that around the world there are organisations and countries who are also committed to this same goal. 
And as violent conflicts around the world continue, we know that the impact and trauma for women and girls is dis disproportionate and devastating. So I hope today that elected members across the chamber will join with me in com committing to a society where women and girls can feel equally safe at home, at work and in our communities. The programme events in the area over the 16 days is focused on raising awareness and understanding, but also challenging. The video you're about to see will give you a flavour of what is going on and please do join in and think about what your contribution could be. Thank you.